This is House Hunters Cat Edition. Cat is a 10-month-old fella who's looking for a vacation home within his home in Astoria, Queens. He's also looking for a name. He wants to spend his free time surrounded by wildlife, nature, and of course, comfort. So as you heard, our cat is looking for a vacation home and we're here to help him out. We had a budget of $20. Yes. With the $20, I purchased a basket, some fun little floral accents from the dollar store, and a fleece blanket. I purchased some floral accessories, some spackling, and and this <laughs> pillow. And we also could pull anything we found around the house. I have something sad to tell you. What? We just bought this rug and I'm using it. I Booyah! Kinda, I kind of guessed because he pulled it and had it I out know. here. All right, so let's get crafty. I mean, one of our cat names we were thinking of was Coyote. So I pictured our cat Coyote in the desert. So I'm making an Adobe style Southwestern home out of a box and I'm gonna spackle it to give it that clay look. Mm -hmm. I was inspired by this basket. Our cat loves round things. So I'm gonna create a mushroom out of this basket. Right now I'm cutting out a door and two windows. I'm keeping it pretty simple. I feel like that's the beauty of these style homes that they're very simple. Getting this, the handles off. Now that I have my handles cut, I'm gonna to start to cut out my basket. I'm gonna make a little opening here for him to go into, and then I'm gonna make two windows on the side. And then because this is a little rough, I'm just gonna outline the openings here with just a little bit of felt. So I'm just gonna to start to use some hot glue and outline the edges here. I really like how this looks, but I feel like it needs a little more of an accent. I think I'm gonna make a swooped little roof. I'm doing this so the cardboard bends easier and it can give me a nicer curve, hopefully. It's going pretty well. I think I'm getting there. Andrew's got a helper. That's oh not fair. No, this feels like some cute sabotage. <laughs> good, good boy. <laughs> Proud of you. Okay, I'm going to attach. Oh, gosh. Ah. I'm going to attach it to my house. Don't do that. It's a pretty good start. So now I'm going to attempt to spackle the outside. Again, I have no clue how this is gonna go. Fingers crossed. Let's see, this is some quick drying spackle. We had wooden dowels here. I think it's gonna be fun to just add some window detail. So I'm gonna paint these brown and then kind of add a little window sectional. We have a winner! <laughs> Done. We'll see. I'm gonna start to work on my base for my mushroom house. This is a piece of sacrificial wood that we've had in our apartment for a few years now. It's time to get a new piece and I'm just going to add some burlap around the base um, and just use a staple gun to staple it together. I forgot I wanted to add some details, like a little window box. I'm gonna spackle over it all anyway. So I'm not worried about it looking too perfect. We also had all of these pieces of cork and this astroturf. I'm going to paint some of the cork to look like brick um, to kind of outline his doorway. And then I'm going to make some stairs, I think, using the astroturf and the cork. Not as easy I was, as I was hoping, but I think it's going to give the look that I was hoping for. OK, it's all dry. I really like the way it looks. I'm gonna sand it down just a little bit so there's not these rough edges, and then I'm gonna paint it, and then I'm gonna coat it in a quick coat of decoupage medium just so uh, it's not as scratchable, or it's more scratch resistant. And I uh, just screwed up my screws in to drill my basket to my wood here, and I of course want this kitty safe, as kitty safe as it could be. So anywhere there's uh, pieces of screw sticking out, I'm just gonna glue some pieces of felt together and cover the screws. My stairs are all dry, I'm gonna give them a snip. I think I'm gonna start to create the tip of my mushroom. And we have this fun uh, furry fabric, which I'm gonna use to make kind of the little polka dots on the, the mushroom here. And then use some fabric glue to glue that down. Oh, he's checking it out. Yeah, go ahead, it's almost done. Check it out. 
Oh my gosh, does he fit? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we had this cute little uh, green fabric and our baby here, he loves like crunchy, crumply stuff. Uh, so I held on to some of these plastic bags and I'm just gonna wrap them up with the fabric and put this in as the base. I'm gonna start doing some uh, detail work. I have these square dowels to line the windows. I'm gonna paint them a nice bright blue and I'm going to use these dowels as support beams. Okay, I just added another piece of cardboard just to reinforce it because I'm gonna be putting a pillow on top. Having a little trouble getting my uh, flowers glued onto the base here. So I'm just gonna drill some holes and I made little bouquets and then I'm gonna glue them into the holes so I have some flowers popping up. I was originally gonna use my pillow inside but I think I'm gonna do it right on the top. I'm gonna take out the stuffing and use the pillow more like a blanket. This was one of the cat's Christmas gifts that he does not use. So I'm just uh, putting my mushroom fabric on the pillow here and using that for the top of my mushroom. Wow, <laughs> that looks great. Yours looks great. I love those colors. Uh, it was I, a labor of love. Now it all comes down to what the cat thinks. House number one is an English Tudor style home with a mushroom cap top and <clears throat> mature landscaping with more mushrooms and grasses. Inside, there's some cozy fabric perfect for napping. Now on to house number two. This adobe style home has a fresh coat of paint in a trendy ombre color scheme and a spacious rooftop deck. House number three is a spacious flat box. It comes in at free 99, which is significantly under Kat's $20 budget. Which house do you think Kat should choose? And what should we name him? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe.